Optimism helps me overcome obstacles. Being a teenager in society today isn't easy. We all live in a constant fear of judgment. With all the social networking sites like Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter, our reputation can be ruined by the click of a button. This causes a fear of being ourselves. Many teenagers hold back and try to just blend in. They don't want to be different. They don't want to be judged. I believe that being optimistic has a lot to do with being yourself. To me, optimism is looking at what you have and finding it good enough to show the rest of the world. It's not only seeing the bright side of the world around you, it's seeing the bright side of you. Optimism is like a teddy bear. It's there when all else fails, when you don't believe in you, when everything around you seems dark, when the world just feels like the worst place to be. Optimism gets you through. Okay, well, I was always the weird kid in school. I always did the weird things. I was awkward. I said things that people were like, what are you talking about? And I liked weird clothing and weird things, I guess. And, I mean, I never really had a really big obstacle in my life where I was, like, just really depressed or anything. It was just, like, all through my life, I was always afraid of what people were going to think of me. And I was always holding back. And I couldn't do, I didn't do well in social situations at all. I was just afraid of everyone and I didn't want anyone to know who I really was. But this year was my first high school play. And um, though at the end of every show, um, the seniors of that year, they get up and they do a little speech thing as their last word for the rest of the kids. And one girl, she was just kind of like my role model. I wanted to be like her, and I wanted to act like her, and I wanted to sing like her. And, yeah, I was really excited to hear what she had to say. And what she said was, the past couple of years, she'd been really quiet in theater, and she kind of held back. She was afraid of people, and she didn't want to show herself that much. And, um... This year, though, she just let it all out, and she was herself, and she had fun, and she told us that we should be weird as we are, we should be who we are, because that's those are the people that get remembered in theater, are the people that are weird, and different, and fun, and so it kind of made me realize that it's not all about being the cool person, it's not all about being just like everyone else, it's okay to be different, it's okay to be weird. Um, because that's who's going to be remembered. And then, there was one, okay, homecoming, homecoming night, actually, not night, afternoon. Me and a very close friend of mine planning on going to McDonald's, you know, and getting, like, dinner or something, and then going over to the high school to be in the parade with the theater kids. So, that plan didn't go so well. First, I, I am not good when my plans don't go well. I need everything to be planned out just like perfect. And I can't have my plans be ruined because then I freak out and I get nervous and everything's just way worse. But, of course, everything went wrong that day. First, my friend had to take a test, so we were already running late. And then, we forgot our backpacks inside because we thought we could leave them in the school for some reason during the game, and we couldn't. So we had to go back in the school and get them. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be able to leave them in there. So we had to go back and get them and carry them to the high school. But as soon as we walked outside with our backpacks, it started raining, like almost immediately. It was pouring, and we just got soaked on our way to McDonald's, and then we knew we were gonna be late if we didn't hurry, so we just bought, like, shakes and stuff. And we walked to the high school in the rain with our shakes, and it was horrible. It was cold, and we were wet, and Amy even took her shoes off because her feet were so cold, and her moccasins were soaked through. So, yeah, we were walking, but the whole time, I just kept saying, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning, because I knew if I just kept thinking about the next hour and how we were going to be late and how we were soaking wet, 
there was no way I was going to get through it. So I just had to think of, you know, there's stuff after this. This isn't all there is. It's going to be okay. And that just, that day always comes into my mind when I'm in a bad situation. Because, I mean, we got through it. We didn't die. Actually, we weren't even late. So, yeah, it's just, optimism can really help you through stuff. Optimism can bring you through anything. Even with all of the fear of judgment, we can still be optimistic about who we are. You can't fear the world and only see the negatives, or you will never be happy with your life. I have always believed that there is good in everything and everyone.